Hi YouTube, it's Lisa from Shimmer Girl Talks. Welcome back. Uh, as I mentioned in a, another video, I was going to be going down my book, Sisters Can We Talk? What Our Mothers Didn't Tell Us. Uh, I said I was going to bounce around. I'm not going to follow the chapters verbatim, but um, talk about topics that I feel will be uh, more, people may be more receptive to or might be struggling with. And uh, I'm going to start with um, chapter five today, which is fatherless daughters. And you're not going to hear, I'm not going to say anything that you haven't already heard. There are um, numerous articles out there on, you know, daddyless daughters and stuff like that. And uh, I can speak from experience. I was a fatherless daughter and uh, I never knew my father. And he's been dead for 40 years now. And I did not um, find out about him until I was 14 years old. And I didn't even know what he looked like until I was 21. Now, my mother um, was a lot like a lot of black women or maybe women in general that just feels like uh, a father is only good for a son or for their boys. You know, um, boys need their daddy. And yes, they do. But guess what? Girls need their daddy, too. And, you know, maybe for different reasons. You heard the saying that um, a father is the first man a girl will ever love. A father is the one who teaches a girl uh, about how a man should treat her. And I didn't even know how much I missed having a father in my life until I started trying to date. And, you know, when you grow up with just maybe a mother, you have her baggage and negativity about a man or men and you don't realize that you're absorbing all of that as you're a little girl and then when you get older and you start trying to judge men and search them and seek them out for yourself you might not really know how to trust because after all men are just put on this earth to hurt you and you know etc so I have a problem particularly with mothers who deny um, a man access to his children because he's an ass or something and maybe he doesn't want to be with her and she wants to punish him by, well, I, you just won't see your children then. And I can tell you now that's more harmful and hurtful to your child. It may hurt the man, but he's a grown man. He'll basically get over it. But for a, a young, impressionable child, children aren't stupid. You know, um, even when I was a little girl and, I, you know, I had a stepfather and everything, but he treated me differently from my brothers. And as a little girl, I didn't understand why he, why daddy treated me like that. But come to find out, he wasn't really my father. And, you know, so that's something else that I find that a lot of women do with their children. You got a new daddy now. You know, forget your real daddy. And I remember years ago, I used to work with this lady. And now they weren't black. So this is not um, just a black thing. But um, one of my coworkers, she happened to be white. She's passed on. I'll rest her soul. And her daughter um, had basically, how should I word this? A friends with benefits. And she ended up getting pregnant by the guy. And as her daughter got older, I'm talking about her granddaughter got older, she started wondering where daddy was. Children aren't stupid. They know a daddy should be somewhere in their lives somewhere. And so my coworker told me that she would get on her little play phone and she would pretend to talk to her daddy. And that broke my heart because I can understand that. Okay, I had to get some water. Welcome back. Okay, so um, her daughter, I think she had um, a few years later had remarried, had married another man, and her attitude was, well, you have a new father now. Forget your real dad. He's a, you know, non-factor in your life. Now, I don't really remember what became of that, but I, I have a problem with women who are very cavalier about... Um, a, a father not being in their children's lives because they have a new man in their life, their child should just go with the flow. And that presents a lot of problems later. Um, 
you know, when that child is trying to find himself or herself. And I don't think people realize that there is a void in your heart when one of your parents is missing. And I find it a little bit funny when some mothers want to take all the credit, like, uh, I'm enough for my child. I'm the daddy, too. But think about if you weren't in that child's life. Think about how that would affect that child. It's the same thing for a, a missing father. And I just wish women would be more cognizant of who they're laying up with and who and the children that they're bringing into this world. If that man is not worthy enough to be your husband, I mean, now I try to practice um, sex within marriage. I, I'm not really in agreement with premarital sex. And it's not because I'm trying to take people's fun away, but I just know the consequences of premarital sex, especially when people are not responsible. And, you know, children come into these situations and, you know, a lot of women want to say, well, the father doesn't care, but you don't care either. If you cared enough, then you would make sure that you have a husband for yourself and a daddy for your child. And I know in our community, marriage, that whole nuclear family is, is, I don't want to say that it's a joke, but it seems to be like an afterthought. Oh, now I have these three children by maybe one, two, three different men, and now I want a husband. But you should have been trying to get that husband for, before the children. But anyway, I'm, I'm kind of going off tangent. Fatherless daughters. Um, fatherless daughters have a higher rate of depression, obesity, um, low self-esteem, you know, ending up in the hands of the wrong men because, you know, maybe daddy wasn't there to show her, uh-uh, no, that man doesn't need to be in your life. He's not going to treat you well. And, um, and unfortunately, this is a common theme for our communities. Now, um, in my case, um, I mean, I didn't struggle with you know, dating around and stuff, but some of the other ills that daddyless daughters go through, I did suffer does suffer with, you know. Um, I probably had depression, but I didn't know it was depression, you know, because it was that void there. You know, I'm not worthy enough. I'm not pretty enough. You know, that, it makes a difference. Ladies, please think about your children when it comes to when they're an adult, you might tell that little five-year-old, don't worry about it. He ain't no good anyway. But that little five-year-old is looking at you with another man. Now, it's okay for you to have a man in your life, but you're telling a little child the most impressionable time of their lives uh, to just forget about daddy. It doesn't work like that. So you might say, but he don't want no part of my child's life. Well, unfortunately, that happens too. And he's, he might regret it later in life. But I recommend, don't tell that child that he's a deadbeat and a jackass and a whatever. Don't tell that kid that. If he really is that, that child will discover that on their own. The best thing that you can do as an adult, especially, you know, there are so many women out here who want to own their sexuality. I can do whatever I want. And can't nobody tell me what to do. Okay, but unfortunately, when you have that mindset, oops, I'm pregnant, and now here's a child growing, you know, going to end up in the world, um, and you're going to raise that kid by, the, by yourself because the man that you didn't think twice about is long gone because he wasn't planning on staying with you. And the child suffers, you know, and so many women... And, and I, I know I'm kind of coming off kind of harsh or whatever because I, I'm so tired of this um, lackadaisical, nonchalant attitude when it comes to children in our communities that don't have their father.